Hi guys, this is lesson number 54 from our Coral Draw Training course series. In this exercise, we are going to learn how to create this beautiful realistic gold effect in Coral Draw. The first thing, we will create gold color, then we will save it under interactive fill and after that we will apply to the selected object. First of all, let me explain you how we created this color. For demonstration purpose, I have here four square and these are the four color that we use to create this gradient. It's a good idea to store that colors in our document palette here so it will be easy once we will create our gradient at the bottom here this is called document palette if you want to open document palette you can go to the window color palettes and as you can see here that document palette it is checked so if i will click it it disappear from the bottom once again i will go back window color palette check document palette so it's here here the most right side we have our default palette the document palette is having functionality that in your current document any color you will fill in your object that will be stored in document palette so later time if you want to apply that color to another object it will be easy to access from this place so let's add some color in our document palette i am going to create small square here and any color we can fill it once i fill the color it is already here to edit color we can double click on this paint bucket and here we have color cmyk palette is open the first color i am going to take is this this is a light yellow color click it and then click ok since this color is already added in our palette so coral dry is not going to store again but any custom color as many time you will create it will be stored in your document palette so the first color is already there our square is selected i will double click again and this time we are going to take some dark brown shade like this we can take this color the color has been filled in our object but if we want to add it if we want to customize we can do that it is having little bit orange shade so we can go to the color viewer and here is the color let's move this slider to the right i am happy with the result and then click ok as you can see that the new color is added in our palette once again we are going to select it this time we need another color double click go back to the color palette and here we have a default deep yellow we can take that color click ok so that color is also added here the last one is the bright yellow i can select the same object double click and here we have another color that what we need click it and then click ok so you can observe here that colors are added in our document palette now let's create this gold color draw square click on interactive fill tool and click and drag from the bottom corner you need to bring your mouse exactly on this corner click and drag to the top right corner you don't need to go out if the first point and the last point will be out from your square area the color it will not affect properly the object the color will be spread up around so we need to do this way now our colors are ready we are going to fill that colors so the first color i am going to take is the light yellow click and drag simply second color here we have that is uh, gold click and drag we have dark shade then we have a bright color we can take this from this side we have a gold color again click and drag it here somewhere once again dark shade then bright and at the end we can also fill the same shade okay and i think we need to add another dark shade after this so click and drag so that is fine the same way we created this gold color now our color it is ready we can use in our object but in future if you want to use the same color again 
you can save it under interactive fill. To do that, this object is selected with the color. I will go to the interactive fill, click it, and here you need to click on this fill picker drop down. Here we have some stored color, these are the default color. If I want to save this color here, I can simply click on plus and give you a new color name. Let us say I will type title gold and click on save button. So, once you will click on save button, you can see that color it is added here. And it is not only for the current document, any file you will open in Corel Draw, you can access that color. So, this color it is stored permanently, it is saved. Let us create text and apply that color to the text. So, I am going to move these things to the side, click on text tool, type your desired text. I am going to type same gold. Here we have text. In order to apply the block shadow this way to get the 3D look, we will add gap, use shape tool and from the right side, just click and drag this way, that is fine. To get this perspective view of the text, we will use envelop tool. So, under shadow here we have envelop tool, we can click on envelop tool. Before we move the corner, we need to delete the center points, select both horizontally, press delete key and vertically also we are going to delete. Now, select all the corners this way and click on convert to line. This is what we need to do in the beginning to avoid the curve click outside, all the points are deselected and now select from the corner. Okay, that is more than enough. In order to get this 3D look, we need to apply black shadow. Let us change the color. In the same place under envelope tool, at the bottom here we have black shadow. Click on black shadow and simply click and drag. You can see that the block shadow is added and if we want any time we can change it, but for now I think it is ok. To apply the gold color separately, we need to break this shadow. While the text is selected, you can go to the object, break block shadow apart, click on pick tool and if I will select the text now, it is separated from the shadow. Duplicate the text by pressing plus key from the numeric keyboard and we have another copy here. Now, select this text and block shadow together and click on back minus front. We got exactly the block shadow that is not under our text anymore. Once we achieve this result, we need to go back object break curve apart once again. And now, here we have individual objects. Now, we will weld each letter we have two objects here, so select both and click on weld. So, that is become one object, because once we will fill color, the color will be filled in both object at the same time. Now, the O select this way, weld, select the D and click on weld. Now, basically we have only four element 1, 2, 3 and 4. Select the letter G go to interactive fill, fountain fill and here we have our stored color. You need to click and drag, click and drag to the text and it is applied. Once the color is applied, you can change the direction, click on interactive fill. Now, it is ok, we will go to the pick tool and select the rest three letters click on edit, copy property from, make sure that the fill is checked and then click ok and click on the first letter. So, the same color it will apply to the selected letters. Now, here we have text, we will apply same color and make sure the snap option it is checked, go to the view, snap to and object snap it must be check. So, we can connect it, select the text. hold it from the corner and just connect it. So, that is done. This is simple gradient, you can fill in object, I am going to copy and now we have a nice gold effect. Select it, 
and click on group. Here we have reflection under the text. This is easy. We can duplicate this text, press plus key and click and drag by pressing control key. Now this text is in the front, select the lower text, go to object, order to front of the page. Now this text, the one we copied, we need to apply transparency. But before we apply transparency, we can adjust it. Okay, that is fine. Transparency tool, uniform transparency and change the mode to multiply. So this is how we have reflection. The last thing you can see here we have shining star that's easy to create. Go to the polygon tool and we have star under that. Click it. Just simply click and drag. Change the sides. We need only four. Go to the shape tool and from this corner you can reshape it. We need something like this. Click on pick tool, fill it with white. Now we can duplicate, press plus key, press shift and make it small and rotate it. Now select both of them, apply weld command. Now we are going to apply blur, go to effect, blur and here we have Gaussian blur. It is way too much, we will reduce, okay that is fine. To get some shining from the middle, we can create another object, small circle, go to effect, blur, Gaussian blur, okay. Now bring this object in the middle here, click on pick tool, select all and group. Now this star we can use in our text wherever is the bright part we can keep it let's say here we have one we can rotate press plus key to duplicate we can increase the size once again we duplicate and add here in our letter l okay that's all so this is how we achieve this beautiful realistic result on our text. We learn how to create the gold color, how to save it and how to apply to the selected elements. That's all for now. I hope you enjoy this lesson and try to practice. Guys, if you like my video, please subscribe my channel and click on the bell button so you will always get notification once I will upload a new video. Thank you.